I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Razabani for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. With me, I'm with a dynamic duo of Lauren Price and Karis Artingsoul. Ladies, um, how are we doing? Yeah, good. Glad it's, uh, we're in fight week again. Um, just can't wait for Saturday, you know, to get out there and yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, good. It's, it's come, come around quite quick, to, to be fair. Now we're here. When we was back in training camp, it was just mentally draining, but now it's, uh, it's come around quite quick and just can't wait to get going now on Saturday. Karis, I remember speaking to you at your debut. Laura, I remember speaking to you at your debut. And one thing you both said to me was, you don't really want to fight on the same night together because it's just, you want to sport each other, if that makes sense. Um, is this because it's such a historic card that you both wanted to be on it? Yeah, 100%. Um, obviously, like you said, yeah, we always said that we wouldn't fight on the same card just to, you know, so we haven't got that kind of extra pressure. But when this come around, you know, make first time ever all female card um, it was a no-brainer really for both of us you know and looking back we've you know we've boxed in the Olympics together we boxed at qualifiers together so it's nothing new to us and um, yeah I'm, sh I'm sure both, both of us are on top four months on Saturday pretty much what she just said there like you couldn't really turn down this opportunity it's such a historic event like you said huge huge like um, at the O2 arena packed out so if we're going to do it, this is the show to be doing it on. Where, will we do it again? Depends if, if there's a, a card as big as this. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I can't really see us doing it again, to be fair. Um, this is probably just a one-off thing. Unless they paid us, you know, money to do it again. <laughs> you know, who knows? Did you, uh, I remember speaking at the time, Karis, did you go away, have a nice little break, refresh, had your cookies and your sugar, etc.? Yeah, we done that. We had the cookies. I, I, I demolished them that night, actually. We got back, didn't we, after my debut. We went straight back and I think we had, we had three cookies each. And they're not little, the, the big. But uh, yeah, we put them away straight away and then um, and the rest and some. <laughs> yeah, we went on holiday. We went to um, Tenerife, didn't we, for, oh, yeah, we did, yeah, yeah, yeah. for a week. Um, but looking forward to having a break now after this because we've been in Sheffield since January and we've only had like two weeks off in between. So we're looking forward to a, a nice break after this, isn't we? Yeah. We, we bought a house just before the Olympics and we've not done a single thing to it really. Just ripped it all out, got it all plastered. So. We're going to spend some time on that after this fight and we booked New York for December so that will give us something to look forward to. Very nice. Um, four weeks ago, fights on, all of a sudden gets called off. I know it's disappointing for everybody but the circumstances that we were in, it was understandable. But was it difficult to kind of reset and then go back into training or do you feel like your mind's always constantly in training and you're, you're always ready? Yeah, it was it was difficult. It was more mentally than anything. Um, just to sort, you know, going back to camp. Oh, I got to get back in an altitude tent. Got to get back up early, running in the morning. Um, but do you know what? It's done us good because we we've, we've been quite lucky, really. China, France, and Germany were over on a training camp, so we got some rounds in with them the last two weeks. And I think that's why it's gone so quick for us as well. You know, because we've been busy. And yeah, it went it went better than what I actually thought. Really, I thought it would have dragged a little bit, but it went quite quick. So. Yeah, an extra, extra five weeks in the bag. Yeah, it seemed like the time went super quick because it feels like it was only last week when they postponed the show. And when I look at the calendar, I'm like, damn, the show's coming up again quite soon. Yeah, now, like I said, now that we're sat here, it has actually flown by. At the time when it got postponed, there was you couldn't have had any worse news, I suppose, because it was literally on the weigh-in day. Didn't know whether he was weighing in, if the show was going ahead, etc. Obviously, due to the circumstances, the right thing to do was postpone it, I suppose. Um, but just like Lauren said there, you peaked. So like we've done all the hard altitude tents, you've done all the hard runs in the morning, you stuck to your diet, you've done all the hard sparring, etc. You're at the peak and you're like, oh, now it's fight night. And then for someone to just come over to you and be like, look, you're not fighting there. Go back to camp for five weeks, I'll see you in five weeks. It's like, oh. but like Lauren said, we had um, a multi-nation training camp come down, plenty of good sparring with China, Germany and France. So the, the, that five-week block there has gone really well. And I wouldn't say it's really made us better fighters or like prepared us any better because we was at our peak anyway coming in first time round. So... I'd, I wouldn't say it's done anything bad for us or anything good. Um, we're both in a very good place. We had our last spa the other day. Both, I'm feeling sharp. She's looking sharp. So we've just stayed on it and 
I just say mentally it was quite hard at the start, but we're here now, so let's go. There's a lot of talk at the time that something has to be put in place for fighters who spend a lot of money on training camps and sparring partners that they lose out because if you don't fight, you don't get paid. And we saw, obviously we know the reason your show got cancelled, but we saw the reasons last week's show got cancelled as well for different reasons. Should there be something set up in the background, whether that's the board or that's the promoter, where if a show gets cancelled at the fault of not the fighters or the fighter, then they should be re well reimbursed with something? I can't comment on this one, mate. Um, yeah, it's an odd one, really, but yeah, I think so. Because, like you said, obviously, we we are quite lucky because we're we're at GB, you know, and um, we're lucky in that aspect. But a lot of you know the other girls on the show and that. I think we were speaking to Ebony Jones, weren't we? And she was saying like she got to go back now. Obviously, she got sponsors, and they obviously pay for her camp. So for her, she would have had to ask them, you know, for another f four or five weeks of training for her. So. Yeah, I think something needs to be done. Um, obviously, down to the circumstances with with our fight, fight uh, it, it couldn't it couldn't be out could it with with the Queen's passing. Um, but yeah, who knows? I don't know. Obviously, it's not nice. Um, but, but what can be done? It's not really like in our situation. It's not our promoter's fault. It's it's nobody's fault. Like it couldn't have been helped. So. Do they then have to dig into their pockets and pay a percentage out for the fighters when it's not their fault? Not really. If someone's to blame, then yeah, something should be done in that sense, I believe. Who's up first tomorrow night? So who's going to be nervous? <laughs> I'm up first. Um, I think I'm first on actually live with the show, Sky Sports, so I'll go on first. Get mine, hopefully in and out quick job, get out and then I can worry about this one, but there's, there's nothing to worry about. Like I said, I train beside... Oh, she'll be worried. Uh, who, me? She'll be worried when she sees you fighting. Nah, she won't. She'll get a little bit nervous, I think, for like the ring walking up, but yeah. once she sees me in there and the first bell's gone, she'll be all right. She knows what I'm capable of and vice versa, so... There's we, nothing we, new we, to us, is there? Yeah, we went through the Olympics, the, the pinnacle of the sport. That was the hardest moment in our career, I think, supporting one another, but we got through that, so... You're going to watch it from backstage, or you're going to... Yeah, I'll, pro I'll probably watch it backstage because um, yeah, we'll yeah, I'll be getting warmed up at the time. But yeah, like I said, like Kara said, I'm 100% confident in in her ability. You know, I see her train day in, day out, so I know how good she is. And yeah, obviously, I'll, like like there's nerves there. You get nervous for yourself, don't you? But um, that's normal. If if that wasn't the case, there'd be something wrong. Main event predictions: Kalusa Shields, Savannah Marshall. They've had a lot to say about each other over the last couple of weeks, couple of months. Um, I know they're going to be up for it tomorrow at the press conference again because it's getting closer and closer to fight night, but everyone I've spoken to today, I'm going to be honest, have all picked Clarissa I to win. <laughs> Are you just doing that because I said? No, nah, I've said Savannah all along. Um, just, I don't know, obviously it is an odd one. I think it's going to be a very good fight, it's going to be close, but I just think I've known Savannah for years and I'd say obviously like since she's been with Peter Fury and I've seen a change in her in and outside of the ring. and. Uh, I think yeah, just the timing's right for her, and yeah, I, I hope I hope she does it. Um, obviously, behind the UK fighter as well, so yeah, supporting her one hundred percent. Um, I was very certain Savannah was going to get the job done with this postponement. I don't know, but then again, I don't think it's benefited Clarissa either. I don't think it's benefited any of them, to be fair. Um, they should have both been at the peak in the first place, so I, I can't... For anyone to say, oh, this fight is going to be better now because they've had an extra five weeks, I personally don't believe that. It's just my personal opinion because you should have been at your peak at the first time round, but... I don't know. You can't, you can't write any of them off on own. Try to blab on a bit here so I don't have to answer you, but... I'd love Clarissa, uh, Savannah to do it, obviously just backing her home girl, but... I don't know. What about Clarissa, the fact that she went back to America, so she went from UK time zone back to American time zone, then she's come back here only on Saturday, I believe. Do you think that have an effect? Well, I don't know. These Americans, they used to fly in, and they? Because it's so big, whereas obviously we sit in a car for like three, four hours. We move whereas, on that. <laughs> whereas they don't, they're, they're on a plane. But um, no, nah, I think obviously she got a great team behind her and they'll know what she what she's doing, you know, she was she been an amateur, she done what she done in the amateurs and all that stuff for like jet lag and I'm sure sure they know and done the right thing for her. And she comes out with some good impressions last time out. She's done what sorry? Good impressions. They both did to be fair, the pre the press conference was cracking, it was a good laugh. Um 
yeah, I, I can't wait for it to be fair. I can't wait for the weigh-in, the face-off and that. It gets you excited even more for the fight night. Ladies, uh, wish you all the best um, Saturday night. I'm sure we'll catch up maybe tomorrow and we'll do another 10 minutes together to see how your 24 hours oh, have been. I don't been. know about that. Yeah. Oh, can't wait. I don't know. Can I start yeah. charging you? Yeah. <laughs> Just let me know where to send the invoice. Uh, ladies, yeah, wish you all the best Saturday night and yeah, we'll catch up with you then. Uh, Lauren Price, uh, Karis Artinstall for IFL TV. Thank you very much. I'm gonna share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.